Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about the work that I do, you can subscribe to my channel. Today, we have a, a special guest and this is another orchid scientist. Uh, and this is an orchid scientist that is part of her PhD work. She worked on the Just Add Ice Orchids back here. And she looked at a lot of the factors that are, that are influencing uh, growth and, and actually to see if there were any effects of, the, of adding ice and watering these plants uh, with ice. So can you tell me a little bit about the, uh, the work that you did with the Just Add Ice Orchids? Yeah, so um, this experiment was done both at Ohio State and at the University of Georgia. Um, so what happened was we received um, uh, these orchids to our labs and we looked at um, four different cultivars um, is, what we is what we were evaluating. Um, and we split the orchids in half. So um, uh, we had 48 orchids, 24 received ice cube irrigation, and then the other 24 received room temperature water irrigation. Um, and what we did is over a period of four to six months, depending on what location they were at, we looked at um, several different parameters of plant health to be able to know, are the ice cubes harming the orchid? Um, so we looked at the flowers. We wanted to see how long the orchid retained its flowers. We looked at leaf health. So we wanted to know um, was any of like was the um, was anything affected did we have like lesions on the leaves did we see cold damage um, and then we also looked at the root health as well looked at um, how many roots or how, how much root um, bio or how much mass there was of the roots um, and then um, overall looked for like damage in the roots as well um, so we kind of did a good overview and then we also looked at temperature we wanted to know how cold does it get in and the media how, how did you measure temperature uh, in, so, in the medium yeah so okay. we measured temperature both in the media and also measured the temperature of the roots inside the roots and so this was looked a little differently so in Ohio what we did is we used um, this device here where um, we took this and stuck it into the pot down like this so that it was measuring the temperature um, of the root zone and so we wanted to know how cold does it actually get inside the pot um, around where the roots are going to be at um, and we found that it doesn't really get that cold and then once it gets cold um, the temperature increases back up to the normal temperature after five hours and so it doesn't remain chilly for that long okay so when you say not that cold what the, or so, yeah. so so how cold how cold do the roots get and, ha and then yeah. you said for not too long so how long does it stay cold yeah so what happens is so we also did an experiment so to give you some comparison first of what this looks like so um, what we did first is we wanted to understand um, how cold can the roots withstand like what is the temperature that the roots can withstand and so what happened is that we put these cold these roots in a very extreme temperatures um, and it's what's called an antifreeze bath and so we put it in there and um, we measured the internal temperature of the root and then also measured the photosynthetic health of the root as well. And what we found is that at um, about, I believe it was around, maybe around um, uh, four, minus four degrees Celsius, um, which is, I believe, around like 19 degrees Fahrenheit, um, that's when the roots, you started to see a decline in root health. Um, but then um, we found that whenever you place an ice cube directly on top of the root, that the root internal temperature never reaches the point to where it's detrimental to the root's health. Okay. Um, so it so it gets a little chilly. It does. But not not cold, so that it yes. does it really doesn't damage yep. the plant. Yeah. Not all. to the point to where it it hurts the root's health. All right. So these. These are the. This is Phalaenopsis, and this is a large Phalaenopsis, and this is a. Um, three cube phalaenopsis and I've seen miniatures smaller plants that say one cube but but this is a tropical plant mm -hmm. and so why would anyone think of, of using ice to water this plant what's I mean why would you do that and wouldn't it be damaged mm -hmm. what's going on here yeah so that's a very good question um, so these these orchids um, the idea behind using the ice cube irrigation is um, for a couple of reasons. One of them, I think from a consumer standpoint, so the person buying the orchid, um, you know, it's important to, um, to them to have a method of irrigation that is, um, that is you know, uh, easy, it's very measurable, 
um, and it's a fun way to irrigate the orchid because whenever you're selling these to maybe a new orchid owner, um, especially receiving um, like a like a Phalaenopsis orchid like this in a pot, um, coming up with a creative way to help them irrigate and stay on top of the irrigation is really important. Um, one of the biggest reasons that people fail in their attempt in, in owning an orchid is because of over or under irrigating them. It's, one, it's like the biggest reason. And so um, having a method like this is very good for, from the consumer standpoint. Um, another reason is because through ice cube irrigation, the water is released slowly over time. And so it allows the orchid to have and um, maintain like the ability to like take up the water over right. over time. Think of like a like a drip irrigation system versus like dumping a bucket of water on top of a plant. Okay. Um, so that's the that's the big those are the big reasons of why ice cube irrigation is something interesting and something that um, uh, is something that's you know kind of big and uh, people are interested. For in. me, I I do <laughs> I've killed my share of orchids and for me it's. Underwatering is usually not what it's uh, usually overwatering, overwatering that, yeah. that, that does it does it for me. Okay, so l another question is that as far as comparing the growth of the orchids with uh, the ones grown on ice versus just the regular water room temperature water irrigation, mm -hmm. was there any difference in in any of the characteristics that you looked at between those treatments? There wasn't. So for the through looking at <laughs> both the both the um, the flowers and then looking at the leaf health as well as the root health, we didn't. We found that overall um, that there was no differences. So the health of the orchid was not negatively impacted by using ice cube irrigation. There were some differences within the cultivars, yeah. um, which is um, you would expect um, as all the cultivars may behave very differently. But overall, there we saw no negative impacts, and so that was um, we were um, excited to see that. That is that, exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's very interesting. So okay, yeah, good. So with this with this plant right here, I see that there's you know there's leaves and new roots down here. Do you need to be careful about where you place mm -hmm. the ice when you're putting the ice on on the orchid? Yeah, for sure. So um, it's really important to be careful where you place the ice cube whenever you're putting it in your pot. Um, so you don't want to put it on top of any leaves because um, it will cause ice damage to the leaves. You definitely want to avoid that. Um, it is okay to put them on top of the roots. We, um, from our studies, we did find that that was okay um, from looking for root damage and also measuring um, the temperature in which the roots could withstand. We were able to see that it's okay to place the ice cubes on top of the roots. Um, and so you just want to get them in the pot so they don't um, fall out as a problem that I have with my orchids is a lot of times I'll be I'll um, irrigate or I'll put the ice cubes on my um, on my orchids and I'll be sitting working and then I'll hear ice cubes plopping out of my <laughs> orchid pods. Um, so I think that making sure that they're in there good and then just avoiding the leaves is best. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So I think that's um, that's that's really that's lots of very good information here. These are these are beautiful plants. I, I got this from a really nice uh, display at one of the local stores, and it we're we're hearing from an orchid scientist. This works, ice works, um, and go and have at it. So that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for Thanks. spending time with me and happy propagating.